this time we will discuss an interesting fact about the location of the new Indonesian capital, which is located in East Kalimantan. Now, the first is the indigenous tribe of North Penajam Pasir, the Pasir tribe. North Penajam Pasir Regency is inhabited by the indigenous Pasir tribe. This tribe is different from the Dayak tribe, both in terms of history and identity. Even so, there are cultural similarities between Dayak and Pasir tribes. The Pasir tribe itself is said to have a descended from a civilization called Bansu Tatau Datai Danum, which means people who live on beaches, rivers, and lakes. This civilization brought down the Krawang tribe, who coined the names Pasir Lembuyut and Pasir Saimpuak. Wow, this is actually very interesting to learn about um, Indonesian culture in this, uh, in this matter. I mean, I'm 34 years old. Mm. I haven't known anything. I have no clue about, about, uh, I mean, the, the Pasar tribe. The Pasar tribe. The Pasar tribe. The Pasar tribe and also all those languages or, yeah. or things like that. And maybe for some of us, including uh, North Penajam Pasar is uh, quite uh, rare. We hear mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. this uh, regent and, and regency. And Right now, voila, we know about Suddenly this because it's going to become our um, capital city. But I don't know about you, the, the uh, choice of the name Nusantara for me, it would somehow, I mean, just take it with a grain of salt. Mm. I mean, somehow it would, it would send uh, like an overlapping message for people outside of Indonesia. I mean, Indonesia as Nusantara, and also uh, there will be an, uh, one uh, capital of the nation called Nusantara either. Well, I think, I think that's actually the other way around how, mm -hmm. of how to see it. Since Indonesia is already uh, very related or correlated to Nusantara, then mm -hmm. when people think about Nusantara, then they know exactly that it is part of Indonesia. Ah. But I mean, this is a mega project and I heard they're also going to make a metaverse version of this capital. No. <laughs> and wow. if you know the, our national monument here in Jakarta, Monas, yeah. they're going to build something similar to that in the new capital. Oh, probably we can put Monas in, in some NFT market. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, for the next fact, we will discover the meaning of Benuo Taka, which is the motto for Penajam Pasir Utara. North Penajam Pasir or Penajam Pasir Utara Regency has the motto Benuo Taka, which is also listed on the regional symbol. Benuo Taka means our area or our hometown. The motto illustrates that even though North Penajam Pasir Regency features various ethnic groups, religions, and cultures, the bonds, however, are strong. Well, this is actually uh, similar with uh, Indonesian motto, Bineka Tunggal Ika, Unity and Diversity, because not only uh, you look across Indonesia, but also in North Penajam Pasir itself, they have like lots of, of uh, Tribes? Tribes, mm. lots of cultures, and um, nonetheless, they're actually one. Yeah, yeah. we got richer by being yeah. diverse. Right? Uh, we've talked about, uh, about the origin of uh, North Najam Pasir mm -hmm. and also the, the origin tribe there. Yeah. And I think we need to know about the tourism spot there. Oh, yeah, Ooh, I want yes. to know. Uh, mm. Maybe one time you, we want to go there, and mm. of course, we want to do the culinary and of, of course, the tourism sport at yeah, North yeah. Uh, Penajam Pasir. So, yeah. Indonesia will soon have a capital city, namely Penajam Pasir Utara. Who knew that this city is a hidden gem, which has plenty of beautiful destinations, especially for adventurous people. Me! <laughs> Try this one first, Hans. So, one of uh, the fun facts about our future capital city is its beaches and ecotourism. If you love to do that, mm -hmm. ecotourism, That's me. it would be great. So according to the 2021 data from the North Penajam Pasir Regional Statistics, more than 60% of domestic and international tourists visit beaches in North Penajam Pasir, including Nipah Nipah, Chorong, and Penajam Amal Beach. Mm. Nonetheless, uh, there are also a number of natural and adventurous gems that can be perfect destination for you to visit in Nusantara City. Okay, remember this, yeah, the future Nus name. Yeah, Nusantara, Nusantara City. City. Including the Penajam Mangrove Ecotourism, Penajam Deer Breeding, and many more. Oh, that's interesting, deer yeah. breeding. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, I this is, this is this is gonna be a forest like capital mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it is very much inspired. I think our president really wants to show the world as well that Indonesia is a lush country, especially in the island of Kalimantan. Yeah. And you know, uh, one of the uh, main reason that we choose our next capital city there in Najam Pasir Utara or North mm -hmm. Najam Pasir because of no issue of earthquake there. Uh, in Borneo we or experienced uh, earthquake, yeah. just you know, it should be stable the area of yeah, the capital yeah, city, yeah, yeah. so uh, free from the earthquake, uh, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. and natural disaster. Hopefully, not uh, net, not any other uh, natural disaster. So there's will a happen lot of there, calibrations yeah. and. Uh, like um, whatever that they consider mm -hmm. so that they choose on Ajam Pasar. Right. Oh, also uh, on that note, because uh, the next capital city, the future capital city will be in around Kalimantan, which we know um, holds lots of um, uh, forests and yeah, stuff like that. Uh, that could actually rise up our awareness about not to cut any more trees. No, don't do that. Yeah. No, okay. cut any more trees.